if you are new to modded or you've been around for a while, you might still need a few tips on how to use JEI like a pro. JEI stands for just enough items and it is this thing here. It is a way of getting recipes. The thing about modded Minecraft is that it adds a lot of new blocks and different mod packs might even change certain recipes as well. So there's no possible way, a non sane way for you to remember everything. And this is where JEI comes in. So how do we use it to its full extent? It is a very, very powerful mod and it's pretty much the first mod that everyone adds when making a mod pack. So in essence, in essence, it allows you at the most basic level, it allows you to look up the recipes for certain blocks and look at the uses for certain blocks as well. And there's two ways of doing this. Uh, the U and R keys are the most prominent of those ways. So Using U, you get the users. U for users. You can also use the right click button for that as well. You can only use left and right click on here in your inventory. Of course, you'll have to use the U and R buttons. Okay. So U for users allows you to see the users. And you can see here we have several users. And then we have several pages that you can scroll through with your mouse button or like that. And then we have also up here, we have different tabs. So I've also got the chisel mod uh, installed here. And as you can see, that does that. And these arrows here will allow you to scroll through those. Okay, so that is the users. If we want the recipe, we press R or left click on this thing. And you can see here, how the recipe of getting stone, we have to smelt cobblestone in a furnace. If there was other options for smelting, they would be here uh, listed below here. And again, the chisel allows us to see uh, another way of getting that as well. So that is basically in its purest form how to use that. Now say I wanted to actually make a recipe with this. Well, you can do that. So I've left clicked on there, which is basically the same as using the R button, R for recipe. And you can see um, to make wood, I need to put oak wood in there. So I can put this, I can click this little plus button and there we go, we can do that. Now there's another way as well uh, by using shift and then the plus button. And that basically shifts in everything that you have in your inventory. Um, in order to do that. Now, if you have something like refined storage or applied energistics, simple storage, any kind of storage system, it will work in that as well, as you can see here. And likewise, it will work as well if you shift it. Um, shift works slightly different in something like this, but uh, if you have like a recipe that has multiple parts, it will work the same. Now, searching is something that you will be doing a lot when you are playing modded. And the most obvious way of doing it is if you click in this bar here, and this bar can be moved over here as well, if you so wish. Um, basically, you put in whatever you want, wood, and there you can see you get everything that is wood. And this, this looks at the title, so the name of the block. As you can see, obviously, this is called Oak Wood Plank. So it doesn't look at anything else. And that is quite important, okay? And it's fairly important to, to realize it goes by the name of the block if you just look like that. Now, to clear this search, you can press right click. That's something that I always forget about and people keep reminding me about. And so that's just a nice way of doing that rather fast. Now, there's different ways of searching um, and you can enable various things here. So. This wrench here is how you get the config, the configuration of that. And if you go to search options here, you can see there are different versions. I've, I've put all of these on right now, but we're going to go through some of the more useful ones, I think, at least. The, the big one that is always enabled by default is the at, and that allows you to search via a, a specific mod. So I've got refined storage. So if I start typing refined storage, it starts to filter with just that mod. And you can see we've got a lot of different stuff here, uh, a lot of covers, and then some other things. Now, if, for instance, you would prefer to look for something within this mod, all you have to do is start typing that out, put a space there, and then look for the specific block. So there you go, controller. So that's now filtered out at refined storage space, and just the controller in refined storage. So if I just typed controller, obviously in here, I will get just that as well. 
But in other mod packs, there might be more controllers, there might be another block called controller. So that is probably one of the more useful things. You will be using this as well, so a lot. Uh, so that is the chisel mod, and you can see, and then I could put in cobble, for instance, and you get that. You can notice I, I don't always finish off the word, because if there's no conflict, then you will be good. You will be okay. So that is how that works. Now, there's a lot of different methods of looking for stuff. There's a lot of like tips and that a lot of people don't really use or don't really know about. So I mentioned in the search options, there's a lot of different uh, prefixes here. Um, so let's have a look at a couple of them. So if we add the little hat, the little hat, we can look for color. So for instance, brown, there you go. You get everything that has a brown or is coded as brown. You can see there in the tooltip, it says glowstone, colors, brown, sand, and white. Uh, oak wood, colors, brown, dark brown, and brick red. So just, it allows you to sort of, if you are building, to kind of narrow down uh, a few of your options. Um, obviously this should work for most most colors and it's a really nice thing to to do uh, when you're building now this only works if you put requires um, the prefix there it is generally disabled the only one that is enabled is the mod name one so if you want to do that uh, you need to just change it in the settings there um, another one is the tooltip the tooltip one so that is this thing uh, down below so for instance if I were to type French. Uh, if I can type French, I can't. You we see we get nothing. But if I were to put the hash in front of it, you will see I get some blocks now. And what is this? Well, you can see there it says andesite and then French one. That is part of the tooltip. And that is just like a little bit of additional information. It's sort of like color. It's just another type. It's the type of block within the, uh, I don't know, the, the overarching type. So that is Andesite, but in the chisel mod, it is French 1, French 2. There we go. You can, you can sort of see. And that just allows you to maybe look for something a little bit more specific. Now there's also, um, I believe the, where is it? The, the dollar sign. And that is a, um, or dictionary. So if you have, and some mod packs do, and I don't right now, but, you might have a lot of different types of like one uh, one ore. So you might have loads of different varieties of copper and this will allow you to search filter out through those ores. So that is another way of doing that. There's also, I believe, um, there's percentage, which is the creative tab. And there is and, which is another, I think it's a resource ID, which is a, like another like tooltip type thing as well. Uh, I, I tend to never use those, but your, your usage may vary. Now, there's a few other little extra bits that you can do in order to find something. Um, if you've got something, if you are looking for something uh, with a space, uh, normally you should be able to see, yeah, we get oak sapling, but if you're struggling with that, you can actually put um, quotation marks in as well. Uh, if you need some to look for something with a space, usually I found I've never really needed to do that, but just on the off chance, you might find you need that. Now, what you can also do, uh, say you just wanted to filter out um, the oak sapling from the dark, what you can do, and this is like Google as well, you can put a minus and then put dark. There you go. And that removes that part from the filtering, which I think is a, a very nice thing. Now, say you want to look at a few different blocks for whatever reason. Sometimes you might have to. Well, you can you can filter out in different ways. So if we add a space bar and then add that, so it's like a it's the vertical bar, and for me that is right next to the the left shift button. Um, that is how to do that. But it adds another way of like multiple searches. So I could look for the controller again. There you go. We could even add wood. And you can see we've got the chicken, we've got the controller, and we've got wood. It's just a nice way of doing a few more searches within that. I think it's very good. Now, if for whatever reason, for whatever reason, you were somewhere here, and you can see the little the blinking cursor isn't there, if you wanted to get there just via keyboard, you might, I don't know, uh, you can press Control and F. And sometimes you might think that this is quite annoying to have up here. Well, control and O 
um, if I'm not on there, there we go, uh, can remove that just so maybe you need to see a little bit better just what's going on behind for whatever reason, you can just simply remove it with control O. Now a lot of these things are located in the control section, uh, so there we go, you can sort of see all of that. And now. This brings me to the add remove bookmark ingredient. This is a, a fairly new feature and it is rather excellent. So say, for whatever reason, you make a lot of oak wood planks. You might get bored of constantly having to look a, a particular recipe up. Well, what you can do now, if you hover over that and then press A, you can see it adds, it adds it to the bookmarks. You can see here, JEI bookmarks, uh, and I believe if we add uh, press A again, it removes it. So you can remove them if you so want. But what this does, it's it's just a shortcut. It's just a shortcut. So say I've got you know something else typed in and I want wood, um, I can I can just easily press that there, click it, and we are in business. So that's another nice, well, hugely, hugely helpful thing. Now, some days you might be in a creative world doing some stuff, and you can you can turn different things on. So if we go back into here, you can see there's a cheat mode. If we turn that to true, click done, what this means is that I can pick stuff up like that. If I left click it like that, lovely stuff. If I shift and click, left click, I basically will get a stack. And that's just a nice way, if you're in creative, that maybe sometimes, you know, you just want to do it right through that rather than finding the tabs here and uh, because that can be a lot slower it's sometimes easier to just use JEI to find the thing that you want there we go I've got the controller lovely stuff so that's a nice little thing that you can do now there is also there's you can see center search bar and that is what it looks like here and that's because uh, JEI replaced in 1.8 it replaced an older mod called uh, NEI not enough items and in that version <laughs> the search bar was in the center. People do not like change, so they added this in. I don't really mind either way. And the last thing that you can do that I think is pretty good, and you can see there's a few other things. Ah, uh, the give mode as well, mouse pickup. So I should actually probably talk about that. So there is, uh, if I left, um, not left click, if I middle click, you can see I can do that. Well, there is another option. There is an, another option, as you saw there, uh, if we put inventory, there we go, what that does, is it, it immediately, it immediately brings it to our inventory rather than me having to place it there myself. Uh, and it's the same, shift clicking basically gets you a full stack. So that's another little thing there. Now, lastly, the hide ingredients mode, which is pretty great. Now you can see if we type in cover, there are a lot of covers in this, and that is because of refined storage. You might, at certain time, you can see there's 21 pages of just covers. Now, things like this clog up. They clog up entirely, um, kind of all of these pages. And you might sometimes feel like, you know, going through all of them to find something in the middle can be quite uh, a pain. So what you can do is you can hide them. So in order to hide some of these things, you can see it says control click uh, to hide, control right click to hide by wildcard. Now it's a bit weird because for me, I don't have to uh, control click or right click. It, it does it without the control. So uh, it's quite interesting. Now, basically what we, what we can do is let's see, let's see, there we go. Let's try and get everything as much as possible. So you can see it doesn't get everything like that. Um, because all of these are made from similar blocks. Is that, ah, oh, we have got everything now. Right. So I can do that, do that. And then you can see now I've got cover in and we can, we can try that again and it doesn't come up. So that's just a little way and a little extra way of just hiding if you have like the covers, something that is really quite annoying you because you keep seeing it, you can just hide that. And at any point, of course, you can um, redo that and uh, get them all back. And there you go, like that, like that. There you go, and we've got them all back. So just another little thing. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is actually not a JEI thing. A lot of people think it is. I thought it was before I did this video, um, but it isn't. It's actually from More Overlays, which is the mod that adds all of this and adds the chunk borders. Um, this is from that, and that's because it used to be part of not enough items, but it isn't in just enough items, which this is using. And that's a thing 
whereby if you double click the search bar, you can see it turns yellow and it might get confusing if you do this accidentally. I used to do this all the time. Um, but what it does, it searches for something within your inventory or whatever inventory you are looking at. So you can see I've put wood and it's highlighted all the wood parts. If I were to do uh, quartz, there you go. It's highlighted those quartz bit. And this also this also works in something like this as well, which is rather excellent. You can see not in here, but in your own inventory, it works. So that's just another little thing, but that is more overlays. And then to undo it, go back to normal JEI business, you double click again. So just a double click on that search bar and that works. And that should allow you to use JEI like a pro. Hopefully that's helped for some of you uh, newer players. And maybe if you've been playing a while, you might have just picked up one little thing that might just make your life a little bit simpler. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've learned something. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. Like and subscribing if it's helped you is a lovely thing. And if not, I will hope to see you in the next one. I've been Hector. This has been How to Use JEI Like a Pro. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.